It was finally here. The day I had waited for, prepared for. The day I would train with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Today, I would skate alongside defender Ken Klee. Right wing, Tom Fitzgerald. Goalie, Trevor Kidd. And Ty Domi. One of the most intimidating brawlers in the history of the NHL. I wanted everything. Let me talk to you a little bit about hockey. Hockey was never my sport, I'll be honest. I like Nerf sports, mostly. Things that you can do in an office space, sitting. Never really got into hockey, but I think I can learn it pretty quickly. I'm pretty sure that within the hour, I'll be the best hockey player here. Come on, come here for a second. Let's talk about fighting, all right? Let's just say you have a problem with me, I got a problem with you. How would you come at me? Just show me what you'd do. No. <laughs> This is the best one. Okay, show me in slow motion what you do. When you have the jersey. Slow motion now. Yeah, yeah, you got the jersey, yeah. Keep the arm here. Keep the arm there, right. Hand here. Right. I don't even have to look. I can just Right, and you just, right like that, and then bring it right across. My style is more of a slapping thing. I slap and I keep my elbows in and I slap. You've made a big mistake. And I do this. Does anybody do this anymore? Well, I just want to show you some of the equipment I've brought. I'm not an expert skater, so I had this made. I want you guys to tell me what you think. It's a special skate that I use exclusively uh, for balance. I use this and then to stop, I have uh, a rock tied to a rope. So I just throw that behind me and it slows me down. I'm just curious what you guys think of this. Would this go over well? I've got to protect the head. I'm a, I'm a thinking man, a cerebral man. You see those skates and this helmet coming at you. Tell me, this is a good nightmare for you, isn't it? Coming right at you. I'd be laughing my ass off, that's for sure. Yeah, you'd be laughing, and that would distract you, and I'd whip that puck in. Probably 11 miles an hour, but I'd still get it in, because you'd be busy laughing. I got my mojo walking by the dogs, Where'd it go? I didn't even see it. That went through my stick. You got the puck here, right in the middle, right between your feet. Right. right. Bring your stick back about here for a slapper. Right about here. Yep. Look where you're going to shoot. Keep and it up. And. Yep. There you go. You got it. Almost. First my trick is to not actually shoot at goal because he's expecting that. I shoot away from the goal where he's not defending. Hope to hit someone else. Pretty smart. Where'd that go? Oh. <laughs> that was like a magic trick. They're gonna take it out from behind your ear. I got my mojo walking. 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 You guys gotta sneak. If you're not thinking, you're nowhere. Guys, as we all know, scoring is difficult. This is the approved NHL 4x6 hockey net. I give you the Conan net right here. We revolutionize the game. Bigger scores, more attendance. In this version of the game, the goalie on odd numbered nights would be allowed to have a piece of furniture with him to help. An ottoman, recliner, a small sectional, not a large sectional. Not a circus. <laughs> that was way too much churning. You'll never use that in a game. That's the problem with hockey. Too much churning, fans lose interest. <laughs> no. No! Get in here. There you go, coach. All right, guys. I'm not liking what I'm seeing. You're dogging it. What's the problem? You don't seem to care. You've lost tired. interest in the game. You're tired? Yeah. Tired for babies. Babies take naps. <laughs> what are you doing? You call that a slap shot? 
My grandmother throws harder. She's been dead for 20 years. Tell me, what's your story? I'm just following you, Eric. What's your story? all I could from these brave Maple Leafs. I've won their respect and mastered their game. I guess sometimes when a man takes on his heroes, he becomes the greatest hero of all.